you want. It's okay. Yeah. Don't worry. They didn't get it. You can wear what you want. No United gear. No. They didn't Spons get it. Not sponsored. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I <laughs> Hi guys, Adam McCola here. Today we are here at Old Trafford for the Mo Play Cup, and I am joined by a very special guest, United hero Park Ji Sung. Park, welcome to Full Time Devils. How you doing? Thank you. I'm good. Thanks. We've got another United hero, Wesley okay. Brown, is in the house. Back on Full Time Devils again. You're on here more than me, Wes. Probably am. Yeah, <laughs> probably am nowadays. Yeah. Last time we were playing wheelchair football, uh, which was crazy. Now we're going to be playing some actual football. Can't wait. Any tips for me out there? Enjoy it. My first and last Look out for me. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you're on my team. If not, I might be on the end of one of them Wes Brown challenges. Question time, Wes. Okay, the first time you saw Old Trafford, when was it and how did you feel? It was probably 1991. I was probably about 11. Um, I come with my dad. The, the ground was sort of still getting you know, bits and bobs here and there. And just was like, wow. It's the place where I want to spend my, this my career. Good. This would be good if I could get a game on here. Who's, do you know who the game was against? I can't remember now. I've, I've been asked that a few times, but um, it, it was, I didn't really come that often when I was younger. Um, so, you know, that was the one and only time around that time I did come. And it was, I used to love Danny Wallace. Dan, Danny Wallace and Paul Ince were my favourites back then. Paul Ince not your favourite anymore? No, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> when was the first time you saw Old Trafford? Uh, yeah, probably when I come to see the, to take a medical check. And then, yeah, when I see outside of the Old Trafford, I say, ah, oh, it looks smaller than I expectation. But actually, when I get into the stadium, then say, wow, this is big stadium. So I'm really surprised compared to the outside of uh, shape. And then yeah, inside, it looks big. The, the, the feeling when you saw the pitch and you thought, I'm a Manchester United player. I'm going to be playing my football here. What kind of feeling was that? Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, so excited to when I see that stadium is so big and then I can't imagine how the fans is full of the stadium then how it looks like and really exciting to can't wait for the, my first match at Old Trafford. Defo. And um, what is your favourite goal at Old Trafford? I, see you, I saw you score some crucial goals here at Old Trafford. I remember one um, against Arsenal, um, a few others as well along the way. What's your favourite goal at Old Trafford? It's really difficult to choose just only one. Probably one Liverpool or Chelsea in the Championship quarterfinal. Uh, probably that one is uh, make me so happy and then I see that the, the, the reaction of the fans is unbelievable and the feeling is unbelievable, so it's, it's a great feeling. Was it just the, the importance of the goal or was it something about the atmosphere or the, the celebrations that, that make that your favourite? So that's why it's, it's difficult to choose one because it's a more fans' reaction, probably the Ulves against Ulves because it's a last mini goals, extra time. So it's, it, it feels really good and then also the importance of the goal probably yeah, against Liverpool, 2-1 mm -hmm. at home, the winning goal and then everyone is, at that time we are in the ties race, so we need to win that game. So, and then Chelsea was, uh, you know, one-one. We just we need more more goals, then we can kill the games. So, so these two is more important goal, but the other was the against Wolverhampton. Probably the last minute goal. The the fans' reaction is great. A favorite goal at Old Trafford. Now I saw you score a couple. Oh my goal. You were you were any goal, but if it's yours, even better. Oh, mine's got to be Liverpool if it's mine. Yeah. Um, we were playing here. And we, we managed to beat Liverpool 2 0, I think it was. Uh, my favourite goal probably would be. Um, do you remember the Rooney overhead kick against Man City? That was, that was nice. I thought you were going to say the Rooney volley against Newcastle. Because you scored in the same in that game? game as well, yeah. Or the Ronaldo free kick against Portsmouth. Was you on the pitch for that one? I can't. Right behind it. Very what good. I that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember David James just looking like, what's, what's the point of even being in goal? Favourite moment at Old Trafford? Ooh, many. Um, my debut, I'm going to probably say, just because it was against Leeds, playing against um, <laughs> Jimmy Floyd. Not a, not a bad start against Leeds, against Floyd, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Yeah, well, we actually, uh, we, Arsenal won the league that year, so the, the two remaining last games, the gaffer put a sort of a younger team in. Um, but yeah, the Leeds one, I'll never forget that. I didn't sleep the night before, so... It's like me last night, I had it today. <laughs> well, you today. <laughs> You're talking about that season. You were Jimmy Murphy player of the year around that time, weren't you? Um, heading into the treble season. What a moment. 
Yeah, it was good. I mean, I had two two good years, and you know, just trying to get into the first team, train with him. The manager put me in pretty early, so I was training with him for a while, and you know, just try, I just wanted to get in the first team and play, so I just did my best. What was your favourite game at Old Trafford? Then maybe not one you scored in, but what was your favourite match? Uh, probably I can choose that the Chelsea against uh, when we 2011. Probably when Champions we won. League. No, 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 the league, league game. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we won two 0 and then probably the first half was my best performance uh, during my uh, United career. Was that the one Chica scored after like 30 seconds or something ridiculous? Like that? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. What fixture did you look at and think that's the one for me? Uh, yeah, uh, probably Arsenal uh, because I scored most of the goals from the Arsenal. So I yeah, always happy to play against Arsenal. Yeah, it's a difficult team, but it makes me quite confident because of the the record that I've been playing against Arsenal. What was it about them? Did you just not like Arsenal or? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, we prepare well and then uh, probably it's good. Their playing style is good for me because they play passing game, which is I can learn a lot and then make a press on them to, to make it more uh, difficult to play. So, and then we can counter attack and then we can score. So this kind of playing style probably quite suitable for me maybe favorite game at old trafford it could be a certain fixture or it could be a certain opposition again it could be loads but i'll, I'll mention the the semi-final in 08 against barcelona when scolzi put one in the top bin the, the, the viva ronaldo win and all that that day it was it's the loudest i've ever heard yeah, it was quality i mean they were they were a fantastic team and you know we, we got a, a good draw away so we needed to step it up a little bit and i thought you know, that day we were, everyone was awesome. How did you feel when that ball fell on Armory's head? Because there was a split moment. Yeah, they were, they were, I mean, the players they had were unbelievable. And I've watched it back a few times that game and you still think, how has he, how has he missed it? Because he was, he was there and it just managed to go in Edwin's hands. So I'm very happy. I take. It weren't even a peak Messi, but he was still giving us. I remember yeah. he skinned Scolzi a few times. Yeah. He was worrying. Well, he's messy, isn't he? Yeah. He's messy, so we, we always have to watch out for him. What do you miss the most about this beautiful place? The entrance of the game. You know, before the game, we're in the tunnel and then when we get onto the pitch, the fans, the crowd and the fans are shouting. So this, the atmosphere is the nervous, the pressure, so it's excitement. So always including just before the match and then when you get onto the pitch, there's just certainly, it's so good. The feeling is, uh, yeah, this is uh, at Old Trafford. So I, I, I miss that one. Uh, what do you miss the most about Old Trafford? The occasion, the fans, you know, getting the boots on, um, enjoying it, and just just getting on the pitch really and, and playing. That's that's one thing you do miss when you you retire. Right, you're gonna get back out there today, so hopefully <laughs> we'll get to see some good part G song action. One last question: Five aside team of players that you played with in your time at Old Trafford, who's in it and why? F only five players. Only five players. Let's start with your goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, yeah. Van der Sar. Yeah, yeah, during home, I was mean, six years, we played with him, so he's a top player. He's a great guy, and then, yeah, definitely Van der Sar in the goal. And then five aside, which is really difficult. Four left. Four left. Are you going to pick yourself, by the way? Mm, no. No? No, I'm going to coach them to <laughs> play. <laughs> it's more easier. Uh, I, I need to choose Patrice Evra. Otherwise, he would kill me. So that's <laughs> he wouldn't love this game oh. if you didn't pick <laughs> Yeah, it's true. So I need to pick Pat. Uh, yeah, I need one more defender, isn't it? Uh, I chose Rio. Yeah, he's uh, good on the ball, good lead in the game. So he's a five or size. A B that is good for the tackling and then aggressive. Yeah. Probably too aggressive for five or size. Uh, probably, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so Rio for a two. And then in the middle, Scorsi, Giggsy. So that's your five? Scorsi and Giggsy. Yeah, that's the five. Oh, I need to change. You're going to yeah. drop real. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. It's really difficult. We need to almost score, score as well. Oh, Yeah, it's really difficult. All right, okay. I'll drop uh, Leo. I'm sorry, Leo. <laughs> yeah, I won't even Patrice. Giggs, Scorsi. And we need a striker. Uh, yeah, Cristiano Ronaldo. Ooh, that is a pretty good team. And I've got to say, Jesse Lingard picked himself. 
Chris Smalling picked himself. You and Giggsy didn't pick yourself. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Nice team. Anyway, Park, pleasure. Thank you very much. And I look forward to seeing you out there on the pitch. Hopefully, you're on my team. Yeah, hopefully. I will do my best. <laughs> Cheers, man. One last question. Your five aside yeah. that you played with here. I'm not going to have a goalkeeper. Did he have a goalkeeper? He had Steady Eddie. Well, I'll go Rio defending plus goalkeeper because he's been in net before. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair enough because we're, we're playing out the back. We're playing out the back. I'd have Scozzi, Kino, Rooney, Ronaldo. Is that, okay? that is some team. Is that and me, again, is that you did. G's? G's was Van der Sar. Yeah. Uh, Evra. Yeah. Giggs, Scholes. Yeah. And Ronaldo. Was it? Okay. I think mine's got him. That's good. Yeah, what, what's his team won't get a shot, so we don't need a keeper. Happy That's days. fair enough. Wes, it's been a pleasure. Nice See you out there. Top, nice one.